Well, he said he'd give us shepherds according to his heart. What was well, that, Yermi Yahu 3? Yeah, and according to his heart. Yeah. And that's what they, they don't hear that. They say here, well, he, he's going to give us shepherds, but not the according to his heart yeah. part. And that's, you know, and it's sad. It's just really sad. And, you, know, you know, we love people. We want to show them, hey, there's this really nasty thing coming. Mm. Here's what you got to do to, you know, avoid that. Yeah. You know. It's fire. It's coming. Yeah. You, wanna... you can hear it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's it's starting to happen. I mean, if you, the the world itself, the, the 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 world is cracking, shaking. The oceans are starting to rumble onto the shores and storms. And he said, oh, yeah. this stuff is just the beginning of woes. And you better be paying attention to his word, study it. Yeah. And they're not getting it. But. Uh, well, instead, you got all these prophecy clubs out there that are trying to explain why this stuff is happening and what's going to happen next and what exactly to expect. And, yeah. You know, they're, they're, they're trying to, I don't know, it's like they're trying to uh, uh, pinpoint this date, and all these things have to happen first. Yeah. Then we got to watch out. Yeah. Oh, boy. Well, you know, it's like, you know, a little sleep, a little slumber, let's mm -hmm. lay back and take a break here. we got plenty of food now. We tore our barns down, built bigger ones. You know. <laughs> yeah, that's that's not the answer. Yeah, the the thing that we have to store away is His Word. That's you know, right. They're storing guns and bullets and food and oh yeah, yeah and hiding in the ground. What does it say yeah. about those that are hiding under the rocks? They're that's gonna right. Be, we can just stand <laughs> up and go. Here comes the nuclear blast. There you go. What do you think is going to happen to the people around you? He says a thousand will fall at your side, 10,000 at your right hand, but it will not harm you. We're going to not even stub our toe. No. Nope. It's going to be a sad thing. I know. It's so yep. great. Look up. Your yep. redemption is drawing near. What is your redemption? Well, he's uh, going to transform us in an instant, and we'll be, you know, basically unharmable. You know, Im will be un immortal. Right, we'll flash. be as he is. Yeah, that's our redemption. Yeah. Our I Redeemer lives. We know, him. we know him. We know his name. He said, my people will know my name. And he said that he'll protect us because we have known his name. What was that, Psalm 91? Psalm 91 yeah. is about the day Psalm of Yahuwah. Psalm 91. The day yeah, of Yahuwah. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. Lays it all out. Yeah. But instead, people are following dead men's word. You know. Yeah, they think, oh, if you, could, you just show up on Sunday morning and uh, go to the steeple, <laughs> what's the biggest <laughs> object in this world that you can go out and look at today that's an that's an idol? The steeples. Oh, yeah. I mean, he identifies them. Don't build steeples in anywhere. Leviticus, twenty six one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. See, yeah. the first to state his case seems right. Until another comes along and says, I have a question. Why does it say not to do it and you're doing it? Yeah. And then they say, well, there's a reason. Uh, well, that's the drunken wormwood that they're on. See, they're drunk. Their minds are numbed by this nonsense. To the Torah and to the witness, if they do not speak according to this word, it is because they have no daybreak. They're not awake. Well, yeah, yeah. That's exactly right. You know, men's words and practices will pass away. Yeah, yeah. You know, and uh, and excuses. Yeah. Oh yeah. Well, you know, by their fruits you'll know them. And what Yahushua said: Not everyone that says to me, "Master, Master," shall enter into the reign of the heavens, but he who is doing the desire of my Father in the heavens. They're all looking for that. Pastors are asking, what is the so-called gospel? What is the message? They don't know it? Yeah. And, and people are paying them to teach them? I know. I don't know. Uh, that's, that's bad. Well, repent. That's the first thing you have to do. How do you repent? Turn away from. Turn right. away Turn from. Around. Turn around. Turn away. Yeah. Yep. That doesn't mean feel sorry. Yeah, no. you feel sorry, but that's not going to be it. You have to f turn away from it. 
you have to first of all find out what he likes. He lo he loves his his thoughts are in his commandments, his ten commandments. Mm -hmm. It's uh, his character. It's learning how to love him and love your neighbor. And if you walk in this way, then you know him, and everybody knows you know him because. You know, wisdom is declared right by all her all her children. It's manifested to the world. We're walking around in the world as beings that he made for a purpose. Mm -hmm. and we're trying to fulfill our purpose, and that's to obey his commandments and teach others to love him and other people, you know, through them. You know. Well, ab absolutely. And it's like, you know, don't be lured away by just believing the word. Do it. Do it. You know. He'll help you. Practice. He will help yes, you. He, yes, he will. He'll give us the power that we need to do it. And, you know, if, if we're not different than the rest of the world, uh, there's a problem. Yeah, we've lost our saltiness. Yes, and the salt's no longer any good when it loses its it's saltiness. Gone. Yeah. You can't stand there and go, oh, yeah, let's do Halloween a little differently. Let's use cars and trunks. And uh, they can still dress up and do all the stuff, but let's just modify it a little, and it won't be the same. Yeah, there we go. No, it will, it will be. You're teaching <laughs> children to practice witchcraft and rebellion yeah. and idolatry because the Day of the Dead means nothing. It's, that is so Hindu and no, so Catholic. It's all basically yeah. a, a monstrosity. It's the beast. It's it's not obey, obeying him. But, yeah. Uh, well, there was a there's a sign on uh, out in front of this one uh, assembly building. Uh -huh. I think they're a, I think they're a Lutheran. They call themselves Lutherans or whatever. And uh, <laughs> the sign says, "I always read because it goes when I go by because it's on the way to town." They always have this little things out there it says uh this halloween let uh j-e-s-u-s -S be your treat he's no trick i mean why not just tell the truth about it mm -hmm. don't do halloween you know yeah and it's just but you know they got to get they got to keep the people coming in you know to Keep the money flowing, I guess. You think Paul was saying basically that to the Galatians who were formerly practicing pagan things and didn't know anything about the truth. They were formerly doing all the things the world does now. And now, uh, and, they, and you know, he, was, he would probably be hot, as hot as a scalded dog if he mm -hmm. were turned loose into the world and see what people are oh. doing and how they misunderstood his words. Paul is he was, misunderstood. He was, he would be beside himself. It oh, just be, yeah. yeah. Oh, he'd be heartbroken. He would to think that. Oh, it didn't. Yeah. I didn't have an effect on anybody. And yeah. oh, yeah, he did. Yahusha's in us and gave, gave us the ability to see what Paul was really about. Mm -hmm. He's accused of a lot of things, but Paul was. Uh, he was. He had Yahusha's spirit driving him. Just, right. well, he, he's done like, a lot of great information. Uh, it passed a lot of information into the world. Oh yeah, and now you have uh, you know these teachers out there that are taking his words and twisting them mm. to mean other things. They, they're you know the proof texting and taking things out of context mm -hmm. and saying, well, this is what he really meant. You yeah. know, you read the scripture, and then then you read these footnotes in the, their translations, oh. and it. Yeah. <laughs> away from what the scripture is actually saying. Here's a word yeah. here, and here's a word there, and here's a little line here, and here's another little line, and they're not giving you the context. Right. Yeah, read the context. Yeah, yeah and it's like uh, when I was uh, studying with uh, uh, a group of people that was meeting on the Sabbath and county parks and what have you in their homes, mm -hmm. um, they, one of the, the uh, scriptures that they used to bring up all the time was uh, uh, line upon line, word upon word, here a little, there a little. Mm -hmm. That's how you're supposed to study scripture. Hmm. And it's like, I never understood like the reasoning behind that. Mm -hmm. I, I couldn't for some
some reason. I mean, their understanding of it was, well, that's how you study. If you look here, you look there, you look throughout Scripture, and you find a little bit here, a little bit there, and you add it all up together. But it just didn't, it, it didn't make sense to me. Uh, it never clicked. And what I realized later on was that that's what, that's what they're using to teach people, and that's how people are learning but they're not learning the truth. They're getting a little here and a little there, a line here, a line there, a precept here, a precept there, but they're not able to connect the dots. Well, they're real smart. I mean, people can have be a genius or, you know, can have an IQ that's off the charts, but it's easy to fool anybody, but it's very difficult to show them that they've been fooled. Oh, yeah, absolutely because they throw up a wall right away. Yeah. How could I be wrong? I have an IQ of, you know, this, this, and this. Well, they're living in a cesspool of, of witchcraft, and they don't know it. I mean, you're watching the news, and these people are saying, keep your fingers crossed, and they don't know what that means. And it's, it, or even the word cross, where did that come from? How do they get involved? The word right. crux is from the Greek staros, from the Hebrew word nos, and it's an upright stake. It's a pole. And yet, Yahusha even pointed to it when he was in his discussion with Nicodemus. Uh, as the serpent in the wilderness was lifted up, what was he lifted up on? A pole. Yeah. It wasn't about a cross. That's, that came into the belief in, t in the 4th century under Constantine. Well, it came from the Latin Vulgate. And the Latin Vulgate, later that century, he brought that into the translation of the Latin Vulgate, and it was carried into the world through the King James, which is an mm -hmm. Anglican Catholic translation of the Latin Vulgate. So oh, the crux. Hate to hear that. No, they would. They would be shocked to hear it. Oh, that can't be. You mean <laughs> to say I'm reading a Catholic translation in English? Yes, yeah. you are. I've brought that up to people, and they get mad. I know. It was a oh, discovery. It was a, yeah. a discovery I made because they, I was raised as a Catholic and I rejected their authority in my mind. So I just said, and I read it through from Yahushua's perspective and, I, and he opened my mind to the fact that this is the Catholic translation in English. It's Latin yeah. into English. Well, I read, uh, I read the King James and I read the Douay version, Ooh. both of them, side yeah. by side. Yeah. And I really didn't see any doctrinal differences. I mean, the way everything was, was spelled out, yeah, the words were a, a little different, you know, but yeah. the gist of it was the same. And, you know, it kind of was getting the same meaning. I mean, they had the, the Lord and the G-O-D and the Asus and, mm -hmm. you know, all that stuff, and they have all the Greek, you know, mm -hmm. names in there and all the Greek deities' yeah. names and everything that we're not supposed to pronounce. Exodus you know. twenty three thirteen. Right. There's a song. Yep. Yeah.